That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. Like, what's up, danger? Like, what's up, danger? Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. Make sure y'all follow all my socials, like the video, hit that bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a thing. I greatly appreciate you. Today's topic, the five reasons why weak men are rising. The five reasons why weak men are rising. So I'm not even gonna hold y'all. We're gonna get straight into this one, man. Number one, there's way too much lust going on way way too much lust see men today we have too much access to the cheeks too much access back in the old times you know 20 30 years ago you had to actually go out and be social and meet people and talk to women for you to even get access to seeing her cheeks getting the cheeks being in a relationship whatever right now i'm not saying they didn't have you know you didn't have corn and all that back then but it was a little bit harder to get access to that nowadays scroll on ig you can see some cheeks even twitter 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 is terrible with it you know what i'm saying but you have too much access which it doesn't allow you to get up and be a man because see today by men having so much access all you got to do is come home plop on the couch get your laptop get your phone scroll on ig see with the with the corn you got all this access and you're getting these free dopamine hits but you're not putting in any work to receive that reward and this is where it becomes an issue it makes men weak because now men are not getting up and doing anything right you want to be successful you want to work hard that way you you build yourself into a man that women would want to be attracted to that people want to be around right but you take the easy way out and you sit at home just just imagine yourself from a from a bird's eye view from a third person view you sitting at home looking on ig scrolling playing with yourself you look crazy Right, try to visualize yourself doing that. You look crazy. Too much access, too much lust. We can't keep going out like that as men. All right. So if you having trouble with the lust, looking at digital cheeks, next time you you scrolling on the gram, you on Twitter, on the corn, try to picture yourself in third person view, watching yourself play with yourself, right? And I guarantee you that's gonna make you want to change your ways. The second reason, man, is energy suicide a lot of men out here are becoming weak because they are giving up their energy so much busting nuts all the time when you understand how everything works inside of you as a man you do better and this is the reason why semen retention is so important in a man's life okay now i'm not telling you you got to go monk mode and go forever and ever and never bust a nut but you got to have some awareness of how it's affecting you okay understand when you release it takes about 14 days two weeks for your testosterone levels to go back to normal okay and most guys are not holding on for 14 days most guys are releasing every day multiple times a day or every other day so you never allow yourself to get back to default settings most guys walking around are merely a shell of themselves okay because they're committing energy suicide daily you got to be mindful of that it's making men weak you lower your vibration which allows you to be attacked okay feel me when i say this you become docile why do you think you feel so relaxed and so calm when you release because you lost all your energy your, your energy has gone okay any motivation any drive you had is gone you shot it out whenever you release your seed there is a chemical that gets released into your blood that produces more estrogen and this is why you become calm right you become relaxed it's trying to calm you down so i bring this message to you guys as men us men we gotta do better 
You got to start having knowledge yourself. Start learning about you, how everything affects you. Because the men of the old, they knew this. They understood how the body works. They were very spiritual. Nowadays, everybody wants to think everything is placebo. Learn yourself. Okay. Number three is laziness. A lot of guys are lazy. You don't want to do anything, especially in modern times. Technology allows us to be lazy because we don't have to do anything anymore. I remember when I was coming up, you had to go out. If you want a job, you had to go to the job, the place of work and get an application. Hey, can I speak to the manager? I want an application. Anything you wanted to do or get done, you had to get up and get out and do something. Right. You couldn't sit at home on your phone and pay your bills. You couldn't sit at home and order your food and have them bring it to you. Well, they did have delivery services, but it wasn't like DoorDash and all that. Now, you couldn't sit at home. If you wanted to get things done, you had to get up. You had to get up early. OK, sitting in traffic, talking to people, being social. You had to be interactive with your day. A lot of guys are lazy today. You don't want to do anything, but you expect everything to come to you. Faith without work is dead. You have to be proactive with your goals and what you want out of life. By being productive, you actually boost your confidence level. Getting things done can boost your confidence. You release hormones that's going to produce more testosterone. Why? Because when you accomplish things, that gives you a dopamine hit and it releases hormones. Your emotions affect your hormones. So when you're happy, when you're proud of yourself for getting up and accomplishing your goals, it's going to release hormones based off of how you feel. Your testosterone rises. When you sit on the couch and being lazy and complaining about your life, this creates depression. This creates anxiety. It, it creates insecurity, self-doubt, all these things because you're not doing anything. You're not accomplishing anything. So this is why it's very important as a man to always be on your grind, being productive, going after your goals. OK, you got to be like this. You can't sit around complaining about your life, expecting for someone to come save you. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. You got two types of people in this world. You got people who watch things happen and you got people who make things happen. If you sit around and watch things happen, somebody's always going to control your life. But if you make things happen, you will bring abundance into your life. OK, so start making things happen. And that brings me into number four being too alpha and i don't know if it's a trend nowadays but guys want to act too alpha you know being too serious you can't have fun you can't be yourself you're putting on this persona and that's not what a real man is that's actually making you weak okay the fact that you would change yourself to please somebody else to please a woman makes you weak a real man, a real person stands 10 toes down on what they believe in. They stand 10 toes down on, on their principles, on their morals, on everything they stand for. And you're not going to let nobody change you or you don't change for no one else. OK, now you correct yourself if you're wrong. But for the most part, who you are is who you are. Like Bernie Mac said it best. Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like you, if you're being yourself, fuck them. Be a real man, which is being yourself, okay? A lot of guys want to change for a woman. And, and what makes it worse is some guys think that being alpha means to disrespect women. And that's far, that's far from the truth. Because a real man understands the, the value of a woman, her purpose, okay? We all got mothers, grandmothers, daughters, if you got kids, sisters, aunties, cousins. You know, a niece, whatever. We have women in our family who we care for and we love. So you don't want anyone disrespecting them. Right. So put that in your mindset. Put that in your perspective of someone disrespecting your mom or your grandmother. Right. You wouldn't like that. So we got to have that mindset for the collective consciousness. That's somebody's mother, someone's daughter, someone's sister that you're talking about. OK, as men, we got to be examples. Right. We got to be examples. Being a man doesn't mean complaining about women all day. Right. Even if you look at lions and you see that they respect each other because they know each other's roles. Right. The male lion would never kill the, the, the lioness because he understands that he needs her. 
she's the main hunter right she takes care of the cubs he needs her to procreate for the most part nature will prevent him it's ingrained in him to respect the woman and know her role and they respect each other right the, the female line respects the male and understands he's the provider and protector so we got to understand that disrespecting women doesn't make you alpha and i'm not trying to make excuses don't get me wrong because there is some jezebels out here and some women who are out of line men as well but we got to understand we can't generalize if you don't want to attract toxic you got to work on yourself you got to be a righteous man walk a righteous path because when you walk your righteous path the women that's for you is going to come into your life people that is for you is going to come into your life and they're going to bring value they're going to help you become a better version of yourself a real man don't sit around and complain about women okay because a real man is going to walk his purpose and not let anyone stop him not let anyone change him and naturally women are going to be attracted to that because you exemplify leadership qualities you feel what i'm saying so being a real man means being yourself and that leads me into my fifth reason my last reason is finding your purpose a lot of men lack purpose you're just walking around aimlessly okay you're a lost soul you don't know what you're here for and that's making you weak because a man without no purpose has nothing to live for what are you what are you doing okay what are you doing as a young man you should be figuring out who you are going back within identifying your weaknesses your strengths having that strong connection to the most high god first because the most high god ordained you with your soul contract which is your purpose which is your mission here while you're living okay we don't live forever right you're here temporarily so you're temporarily here to achieve something and get up out of here so as a man you got to get that ball moving okay is i know there's distractions out here that's going to take your focus away but you can't allow that to overtake you you got to start making moves if you don't know what your purpose is you need to sit down and try to figure that out stop chasing women stop distracting yourself with tv and your phone cut all that stuff off and find yourself a lot of men are afraid of solitude being alone you always got to be with your group of friends you always got to be with a woman you always got to be doing something instead of sitting your tail down closing your eyes meditating praying to the most high god whatever you got to do to get your mind right and to find out who you are simply ask questions who am i what is my purpose how many guys sit down and actually do that it's that simple man and when you start asking questions you will be led to the answers but men are so weak these days because all these distractions are taking you away from yourself when the only way you're going to find yourself is going back within so these are my five reasons why weak men are rising and honestly i hope this video can give perspective on some of the issues so that we can make a change we we, we got to stop following the trends and start walking our own way because following all these trends and all this social programming is going to keep us going in, the, in a downward spiral all right we want to be like that number nine we want to spiral up so take heed to this message man change yourself be yourself okay gain knowledge yourself retain gain it's your boy tay make sure y'all like comment subscribe y'all have a beautiful day man and i'm out peace